things we work on at St. Anne's too is providing meals that are healthy uh, for the people to eat. We try not to fry things um, and we have some awesome cooks, let me tell you. <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my roommate is back in the kitchen and she just does such a great job um, just like making sure the food is really healthily prepared like using oil instead of butter just using like really smart ways to keep people healthy okay we're at a house in West Waynesburg I started it last semester and it's completely different than when we started we're renovating it when I got here it had bright yellow siding and now you can see that's not the case anymore but um, Right now we're almost done with it and we're getting ready to move the homeowner in in a couple of weeks, I think. So, this is it. poverty in Greene County as a community, not just as a, a group of Bonners. Uh, I really believe that we can do that by working together and understanding one another. I actually got the chance to write a book this past summer. Uh, it's called One Day This Will All Be Light and it focuses on teenagers in poverty in Greene County and I've been working with teenagers in Greene County for the past two years and hey I've, I've been a teenager so I kind of know how it is a little bit anyway. Um, it's been really humbling to ask teenagers what is your life really like and get answers just to hear you know my stepdad has a good job but he gambles his money away or you know like I don't know where my next meal is coming from it's humbling um, I've, I've learned <laughs> more than I could ever tell um, and uh, it's been such a blessing I can't even tell you um, I'm so thankful for that opportunity oh. 